tonight ties back as the offensive coordinator and it has been a rough year for the Cougar offense and that's been a bitter pill for Ty to swallow. It hasn't helped that he's had to use five different quarterbacks. Kathy Aiken sat down with Ty as we wind down this tumultuous season. Of uh, the 1990 Heisman Award. In 1990, Ty Detmer made BYU history. Is Ty Detmer, Ty Detmer of BYU. Ty Detmer. Becoming the first and only Cougar to win college football's highest individual honor, the Heisman Trophy. What is the best memory from that day for you? For me, it was having the whole group there. Uh, coaches, trainers, everybody, the equipment managers. Um, it was great to, to have everybody around the TV, around the pool at that time. 27 years later. Up into the air, Shumway, and it's picked off. Detmer is part of BYU history he never imagined. The first team since 1955 with nine losses and one of the least productive offenses in the nation. Is there one word, Ty, that you could use to describe this season? Uh, perseverance, you know, we're, we're battling through uh, some adversity and it'll make us stronger for it. Sometimes the team, you go through these things and it, it helps everybody refocus and, and realize it's not just going to happen because you walk out on the field and you're BYU. You look at the offensive statistics, some of the lowest in team history, does that not you? Does that keep you up at night? Um, no, it doesn't because I know the situation we're in and every game plays out differently. We've gained a lot of yards at times and then score many points and so the yardage part of it doesn't bother me so much it's some of the other statistics our third down conversion and our turnover rate we're not where we need to be could you have ever imagined ty that when you signed on for this that this type of season would be <laughs> what it is today no you don't expect that at byu i mean that's not the standard that's been set um, you know and especially after last year and kind of we we hope to build on that and you lose some key players and then you have some injuries and, and some new guys in different spots, uh, you know, was, was more challenging than you think going in. What's been the biggest frustration this season for you? Uh, just, you know, as a coach, you want to be in control of everything and, and you realize that you're not. Um, <laughs> you know, once you call a play, it's you hope the players have been coached well enough to execute things. Um, I think that the most frustrating thing is just, you know, the fact that we're three and nine right now and, and uh, we're not where we thought we, we should be. And, and no matter if you think you're a better team or not, you got to go out and play and show it. Detmer readily admits the Cougars haven't shown it this season and says that falls on everyone, including himself. Like the battle with injuries, 37 players have missed games due to injury, 13 starters, including quarterbacks Tanner Mangum and Bohaj, as well as running back K.J. Hall and tight end Moroni Laulu Pututau. 25 of those injuries came from the two-deep chart. BYU also suffered off-field issues, losing linebacker Francis Bernard for the entire season and running back Ula Tolutau for nearly half. What's the first step to turning it around for next season? really just us you know self-evaluation and uh, then going out and doing some professional development and get some ideas on uh, how we can do things maybe differently and better and but the first step is our players just uh, going back to work you ever question your decision uh, leaving the comfort of Austin Texas and the great life you had there no not at all I mean I'm, I'm just as happy now to be here and to be a part of it as I was uh, day one the experience has been great for me for my family and whether it's you know personal challenges off the field um, for, for people to, to be here and to be supportive for them um, I definitely feel like this was the right move and the right place we're supposed to be and so there's no regrets at all I'm, I'm still enjoy it and look forward to, to more time to come Kathy Aiken BYU TV Sports